Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the upper bracket finals. Lunk is light side up against Thunder in a best of five. And Emp is going back topside now as well because his Krugs are about to respawn. So Butchie was pretty damn safe there. Hook lands onto Dr. Chaos into the Feather callback and they will get first brother. Thunder getting that one. Very nice pickup from them. And the invader flash Q from Cass doesn't land onto Emp who will smite the camp and hit level 6 as well. Drake is gonna get started up by Lightside there. And first Drake goes down into the hands of Lightside. I would assume that Kesante is now doing way- Oh! Now the dredge line lands onto Dr. Chaos, but this time around could it be a turnaround? No! They engage from Rusty Sniper still, so much damage onto Dr. Chaos, but he doesn't die. And so much damage coming back onto Rusty Sniper, actually! Flash forward from Spike, and Rusty Sniper will go down! And look at Poopy now running for his life in a 1v3, though can Lightside find enough damage to take him down? Another headshot comes down, one more out from Spike! Q doesn't have Because Vi is here now, going onto Spike, and he will fall! And look at Poopy going for the re-engage, gets level 6 here, and he's gonna hit it, the ultimate onto Amp, who is flashing away! One for one in the end as Faded has now joined up. And perhaps an engager from Butchie baiting out the Rumble. Ghost gonna be used. Emp is here. Flash out from the Rumble. Can the Kisanta catch up though? Tries to go for the Q3 but it does not land onto the Rumble. And that means we go Jim or me like Panda will get out. The Dragon has been started up down to 3.5k already. And there's gonna be absolutely no contest from light side. Just an all around nice soul. Oh, Dr. Chaos engage on towards what the Sniper will be forced to be used to use the cleanse and the feather storm maybe chaos in trouble here though as cast comes over the wall to bite stibbers yo what no 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 you can't do that right the machine a 1v3 here rift turtle gonna come down here like i need to rotate actually could be an engage here and dashing out chaos running away here as well some damage onto Painful, and Luke Boopy on the wrong side of the wall probably has to flash here, takes some damage, oh, walks into the trap, and that's the shockwave onto two members, doesn't really deal any damage though, and the headshot onto the Oriana who's just gonna go down to the Annie, here comes Kisante as well, Ace in the hole, gonna take down Cast 2 for nil right now, right side get a huge win in that team fight. Daya getting the top, or yeah, top lane tower, but light side getting two kills. First tower was split up by the side, but light side get the mid lane out of tower along with two kills. Light side with the mid prior actually. <laughs> Both teams is clearing out the mid here, so I guess neither team with mid prior. There is one cast in there with a Q to be lands on the side. He will be used to use the feather force to use the feather storm and the cleanse immediately. And are Thunder still gonna start up the Drake? Are they going to? That's so greedy from them. Their AD carry does have flash, I suppose, but no ultimate, no cleanse. And I think they just have to get it. But the Hex flash in from Maluki Poopy was. I mean, it's completely in thing. The Rumble Ultimate will, will get thrown down onto Dr. Chaos, who is burning down. But not with Fallen Annie as well. Spike will, though, trying to survive this Vi and will for now. Drake is still up. <laughs> I think all the youth Ultimate have been expended. Drake so low, can Amp get this one? I mean, Vi is nowhere to be found, so Lightside will be the one picking it up eventually. Q3 lands off the paint, but there's not enough damage. There goes the Drake, Butch is super low, he will just go down here, and M probably has to run here. Me like Panda, very healthy still on the Rumble, Rift Turtle get, gonna get thrown down mid lane, Painful quite low, but M will be for the flash, like gotta reach from Faded though, he tries to find Painful, but he does not find the W connect, so much damage, can they find lethal though, M still alive, but he gets smited by Cast Faded now on the wrong side of the map, the Q is gonna come in, oh, TP, but Faded is burning down, and he is gonna fall to me like Panda. Went for an ambitious play. Probably try to get an insect on the oh and engage here from the oh my lord there's so many ultimates going on to spike and it's just gonna go down the Vi ultimate into the shockwave and equalize from rumble very nice pickup on the spike and that could mean Baron Thunder are certainly running towards it there's no smite for Vi though oh I think she smited the Caitlyn so there's no smite oh but they have to turn here they can't go for Baron. They can't go Baron, but the light side no though. They do not have smite. Baron down to 5k, they Thunder can't go Baron. The ultimate is set onto Singa, but she's so far away. Flash in from Rusty Sniper, so far forward. And Boon, why? Uchi, Uchi Ultra out. But double kill now for Emp. And Light side still somehow looking to win the fight here. They get so much damage onto Cast and he will fall to the Syndra ultimate. Painful running away, still kiting. Will survive for now, Shockwave onto two people and flash in from me like Panda, is in all gonna kill Painful here, me like Panda's still alive, oh my god, why did Butchie go for that ultimate, <laughs> it kind of worked, no, Butchie did not have to die there, oh, 
And Faded almost falls to me like Panda Stun. Is available for Dr. Chaos though. And the Rumble is super low. Can Annie win this one? No, she does not have mana. Equalizer. But the Guardian from the Annie somehow is in range. And now the W from the Syndra does land. Me like Panda gets shut down and somehow Light Side win that fight. Bit of a death push here from Thunder who will go on to Spike. But device so far forward. Will they find little damage? Spike will f fall actually with Dr. Chaos as well. So much damage. And even though the Vi goes super far forward, looks like she's completely alone. The Equalizer has super long range and we, I mean it just deals so much damage when Vi can lock down a target. And look at this flash, hit flash forward and somehow the dredge line lands onto M and he will for sure fall here. Butchie gets a huge Q3 but it's going to go down, can he find damage onto the side? No. And that's for sure going to be Baron for Thunder. And one thing I can tell you, I don't think we will be seeing this Vi Rumble combo in game number 2. Maybe just a straight up rumble ban. Faded trying to do what he can here. Get some damage on the payphone, but it will just fall as well. Trying to do the impossible and he will not. He said he just falls. He does buy a bit of time. Maybe Lysad could go for the Drake here. Dr. Chaos and Spike are on the map, but Painful is gonna TP forward and Lightsad will probably not be able to do this. And this will mean that Thunder get the Drake, neither team close to Soul anytime soon. They've been finding creative plays and yeah, this uh, Vi... Yeah, they just one thing going on to Spike. Shockwave equalizer gonna come down as well, maybe. But actually, this time around, Cast went way too far and he's gonna lose his life for it. The Rabban has now been picked up for Painful. Triple items. Oh, so much damage on the cast actually. Who oh, will just get one shot once again? Oh, whoa! That's a huge pickup for Light Side. This time around, Light Side are the ones finding the play. Not that much of a goal lead when they are in the 4v5. And Rust is now going on to the uh, spike rather. But using the W onto the red line doesn't do anything. The Nautilus ultimate coming down onto Caitlyn, but doesn't do anything. Shockwave onto Butchie, who will go down here actually. Thunders are for sure the ones with the Pryo on towards this Drake. The Equalizer could play a huge role here. Shockwave as well, choking out Lightside. But they tried to find their way into this river from mid lane. Rumble could just use the ultimate in a zoning way here. And there, Thunder will start up the Drake. Down to 8.4k, but they are looking for the fight. I think Milak Panda for sure looking for an Equalizer right now. And Cast is going for the backline for the case quite low. And they draw Ned. Not as red. Oh, huge. Too much of Two members gonna be one shot completely. Now the Nautilus on the spike as well. He's gonna be watching the almost rusty flashing forwards. Spike flashing out will survive for now. Faded is in a bit of a rough spot here. And now they're going so deep on towards M. Can they find damage? No flash over the wall. But this for sure means that Thunder will get the dragon. And they just completely one shot at Butchie and Annie. Not a very tanky Kisante right now. Flash Q coming in from the the Vi into the stasis. Rusty on the rampage, everything going in the favor of Thunder right now as they will look for the Baron after this as well. No GA forecast now. Oh, Eric onto the Rumble, he has stopwatch though, but I think Lightside will be able to burst him down regardless. Flash out and no, Rumble will live. No TP for Rumble, so he has to... Oh, he, he's not gonna reset them, mind. It's Flash forward from Unlucky Poopy as Thunder are looking to break the base of Lightside. And there we go, Cast going super deep, no Guardian Angel, gonna be all, get almost one shot, Butchie will fall though, and the Vive will survive for now, Spike is gonna go down to Rusty Sniper, and so is the entirety of Light Side, stop watch from Rusty Sniper, it's not gonna die in this one, but so, I mean, Light Side will be the ones falling here. The clean ace for Thunder means they will take the victory in game number one. Some uh, fantastic team fight with this big ultimate from Thunder means they take down Light Side in number one.